Bantamweight Division matchup. Well, some would argue she is the most talented boxer, pure boxer to ever step foot inside the UFC octagon. She wants to be an MMA fighter, but her boxing is certainly her go-to. Yes, her boxing is her go-to, and it's shown in all the championships, right? She went into this UFC career a very well-rounded fighter, but it all starts with her base. It starts with the boxing base, the ability to move, the ability to find comfort in the head movement, the jab. It's almost like her head is going on a triangle. It's just never in the middle. So where you're throwing, her head's already off that, and as you throw and miss over extends, she's already countering and landing her attacks. It's truly, truly a sight to see whenever she's really, really feeling good at it. Well, she has been there, she has done that. Here's the former UFC Women's Featherweight Champion, Chris Cyborg, and a lot of people are interested to see how this next phase of her career materializes after that shocking result against Amanda Nunes not all that long ago. A lot of people will look to see how she responds because when you're as dominant as Chris Cyborg is and has been over the course of her career, you don't expect that result. But even in that fight, you saw that Chris Cyborg, even though she was not having the best of it, was still in there and engaging and willing to fight. How does she respond? She'll try to respond by going in there and knocking somebody's head off. Skill for skill, though, the total package. Obviously, to your point, the power is there. She's got a Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt that she can lean on, but perhaps she won't go Vanderlei Silva style here tonight as Cyborg looks to bust back into the UFC win card. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Arena Aldama! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Score takedowns if needs be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty, don't touch it, cover it with a piece of tape, you don't need it. Striker versus striker, both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the match. Left hand punch to punch. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here. So. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing From everything From the clinch now, there. nice trip for her as she gets the takedown. And they both stand up. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. Ball straight right. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Cyborg's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. So both fighters 
now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find great time fights when that finally kick. gets the takedown, it wasn't for any lack of effort earlier on, but cleaned up the technique a little bit, and now we'll see what she can do with it. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated. So she holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Nice straight punch. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a... After the massive knockout, that is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Hurt Gage called the stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chris Sabo. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.